Them know we quick for response, could I swear I fuck it, bad man Mount the guns that we have, like Afghanistan Ross Clark Look who the fuck is back The king of Miami <laughs> A big war out for start. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another update. So, Black Rhino exposed Prince Swanee in the worst way on Instagram, people. Yeah, you remember that video I did about a month ago? Prince Swanee sent serious threat to Black Rhino. You can go and check it out of 10,000 views, viewers and subscribers. So, you know, say it's not no play thing. It's like Black Rhino ready for Prince Swanee. The man has exposed everything on Instagram. It's like Prince Swanee DM Black Rhino and I tell Black Rhino say yo, if you stop call up him name and I'm Efri. So it's like Black Rhino as a youth. When I use my style all along and I just never expose you no. Know? But right now, I'm ready for expose you know? and upon that me have got killed you know, lyrically. So viewers and subscribers, I'm gonna show you. What go on on the Instagram between Black Rhino and Prince Swanee? Right now we love the shit so we no show no remas Plus we not give a fuck about the pussy them bass yeah. So Black Rhino posted this on his Instagram a DM from Prince Swanee Yo, stop calling my name in your every dog Youth, me in a chat things with you I ain't rebel, try know that And I'm my style the whole I know I use And I me say it I world says so. Then Prince Swanee responded, You ready for left the Bronx? So after Black Rhino posted that conversation with him on Prince Swanee, he captioned it. You know, Rhino, Iceberg, G Smaddy tag him, Prince Swanee, and tell him swipe left. And this was the video Black Rhino posted when you swipe left. Big belly man ticking away. Why? Tell him say how we are locked the place, yo boy. So basically Black Rhino send him fans them to go tag Prince Swanee and make him know say yo, a big belly man ticking away and a him around the place. So it's like Black Rhino has sent a direct message to Prince Swanee. So yo, we're ready for bus out there, you know, what you do, what you up to. Me not just in the chatting and the one bag of DM because viewers and subscribers, if you check back the levels, you know, remember Black Rhino is from Gaza, from Gaza camp with Vibes Cartel. Remember back then in Gaza days, people, Black Rhino was the most lyrical artist, you know, as the protege where Vibes Cartel did that bring. Yeah, him did that lead the young generation when it comes to lyrics and everything. So, you know, basically. Prince Swanee, a DM Black Rhino tell him say yo stop call up my name in your foolishness brother but at the same time Black Rhino make him know say yo my name meds you because you know I'm off your whole of my style and I never did appear on no mind but here what, I'm going to expose you all of you right now I'm just, I'm not just, I'm going to expose you but I'm ready to kill you Prince Swanee we see Prince Swanee drop a bad song the other day to tear up a place people it have over a million and odd views it called Bag Daddy though I never get for review the song there but the song the wicked people Punk the brothers we last right now we love the shit so we no show no remas plus we not to give a fuck about the pussy them bass you know it be playing at the intro does the same so we are going to see what go on for the war between Black Rhino and Prince Swanee because this would have interested in the people because remember Prince Swanee a big artist and Prince Swanee a bad artist so viewers and subscribers tell me if you don't want to see this war go on between Black Rhino and Prince Swanee lyrically but not physically yeah can we see a little thing I go on the net the other day with Alkaline Japanese song called If Them Ever and everybody say him had this massacre night some people say him this vibes cartel because Vibes Cartel, they are jail and like him, I send a message to the system, I say, if them ever kill that brother, which is Vibes Cartel. So, you know, 
them did try a little thing back then and it never did go on because you know Vile Scardell in a jail and worse him are facing health issues so for Alkaline you know try to clash cartel that not go work but there was a long due overdue clash for Massacre and Alkaline but it's like Massacre fly past that now and him not think about Alkaline again because you know him a focus on the album and them thing there which him did already drop an album still so if we now go get the war between Alkaline and Massacre people, we are going to war at the war with Black Rhino and Prince Wani. I think that would be, you know, a good war for dancehall, you know, lyrical war. That nice of a place because a long time we not have a good war in a dancehall, no people. The last good war we have, it was between like Squash, Alkaline and Chronicle, yo, that did massive. So it's like they must say that they draw or some people did say yo alkaline kill it two of them but nonetheless we see Prince Swanee and Black Rhino I go at it now. Yo, me know the fans them would have glad for this. Yeah, it would have been very entertaining because don't take Prince Swanee like people, him have a lot of lyrics, even though he's a Trinidad artist. I mean know a lot of fans would love to see the comeback, the rise of Black Rhino, the real sting of people. Because you know, members say Black Rhino gain a lot of fans from in Gaza days. And it's just unfortunate to see how you know the people him kinda of forget about the artist. Him never get the break where him deserve. We see him go up and sting, him try to clash popcorn, it never work. Cause popcorn did should be off off a stage, should be wanting a crowd and then thing there. You know, we seen go up on couple sting and win a competition. So there's no doubt that Black Rhino have lyrics people and him can defend himself, him can stand in turf. Cause Black Rhino is an artist, him not afraid for nobody. From you come from a Gaza camp, you is a bad artist. So it's like I know Black Rhino forget back him shine people. What do we see him do a, a interview and him as a yo music kinda wreck him life and him not really too in a music again like that. Maybe artists are lose faith. But if him forget back the real comeback like when he's supposed to get in a music, I know he have a lot of fans there are weird for him. So it's like Black Rhino want this war right now with Prince Wani. Yeah, so that would have bring them up to a level people because you know competition is always good for the game. Competition go on between Beanie Man and Bunty Killer. It go on between Movado and Cartel. Yeah, and you know that raised them to a king status, a king level people. So it did for go on between Alkaline and Popcorn. You know, Popcorn always a dash him white flag, so now go clash. But if you see this now between Black Rhino and Prince Swanee. Yo, a lot of people want to see this. So, hope the artists them can keep it lyrical though, because we see a lot, a lot of things are going on with the Trinidad artists. Them is like when them become rival, them take it physical in the street, and we don't really want that for no artists. We don't want no physical thing. We want lyrics. So if a man them are gonna do it in the studio, yeah, we welcome that. So viewers and subscribers, remember to leave a like on this video, very important. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed as yet and leave your thoughts down in the comment section. Pussy them don't know about the road, my walk, but know it was bad. They could ask Panta, Punta brothers we lost. Big belly, my ticket now, yes. Tell them say how we are locked the place, yo boy.